Yo, what's up, Kibi Nero here. Uh, this short video, as I am about to go on my um, second day of my 30 days uh, telemarketing challenge, which I'm going to be covering on, on video just for accountability for myself. Because I am my own boss, and uh, if I don't put myself accountable, I won't get the, the work done. You know, procrastination is a big enemy for all of us out there. So we try to find all the ways necessary to to force us to cause us to do the, to take the action steps that we need to be taking. So in this video, I want to talk about the 80-20 rule. Now there's an author, I believe, and I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, the author's name could be called could be David Rothkopf. Now David is easy to pronounce, but Roth R O T H K O P F. So I'm not really hundred percent sure. Maybe I shall confirm another day. And if you if you know for sure that that is the author, you can click the link. You can leave a comment in the description in uh, in the comment box, and click the link uh, below this video. Like it, uh, share it, leave comments, share with your friends. Yeah. So I wanted to to speak about the 80-20 rule which says it basically says something like uh, uh, for example in, in, in any society 20% uh, of the population own 80% of the assets yeah, it's, just, it's just the way it is and uh, uh, in anything in any organization it's almost the same way 20% do the work and and get get to keep 80% of the money and get 80% of the money 20% get 80% of the money so the same thing applies when you are you know in your in your daily life 20% uh, of the things you are doing right now is causing 80% of the results that you are going to get and the rest 80% is 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 not is not helping is not is not is not creating any results so what i could say is that to become more effective you yourself in your business in your organization as an individual you need to recognize uh, you need to recognize and look and recognize which are the eight, which are the 20% of the things that should be doing that is going to create 80% of the results now if you are in network marketing and you are in recruiting business, you know, uh, among the 20% could be sending emails to your list if you have a, even if you have a big list, right? Sending emails and, and connecting with your people, with, the, with your prospects on your list. It could be calling your customers, depending on your circumstances, okay? Depending on your circumstances. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, certain things as uh, being on Facebook, maybe, maybe not. But on Facebook, you really have a couple of people in in your in your surrounding who are like your friends that you can uh, you can uh, recruit into your business. I mean, of course, Facebook is also a strategy you can use. But what I find more even um, good when it comes to recruiting and uh, building a business, network marketing business, which I am doing myself, is being out there, you know, uh, speaking live to people live uh, prospecting as I, I learned this from Ray Higdon uh, one of you know big guys out there when it comes to recruiting and network marketing uh, speaking live to people you know uh, because previous to this I was doing so many many other things but I was I, I found out ex for example you know uh, uh, recruiting people uh, I mean uh, getting people to see my video present and then getting their email then now you send out an email to a list of a thousand people uh, maybe if you're lucky, ten only ten open the email, and uh, two or three clicks on your link. So instead of focusing your energy on this, what about if you could be calling people? You know, calling people and speaking live to people. Yesterday I did this. I speak. To, I spoke to about ten or plus people, uh, more than ten people, and in four hours period, speak to more than ten people. Even though 
the majority said no, but some of them are rescheduled and things like that. But this is much, much more than uh, than uh, sending out the things out there, hoping that somebody is going to 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 click on the links and see whatever it is that you are doing, and then join your business, which is also which also works. So the 80-20 rule is. You need to recognize the 20% of the things that you need to be doing and then focus on those things. You know, put them in priority. Me, myself, for me at this time, I recognize shooting videos, shooting videos, and I recognize uh, telemarketing. So, telemarketing, and then, of course, behind scene, behind the closed scenes, the most, you know, self development. You know, these are some of the things that you don't really see, that, but some that you have to be doing. You know, it doesn't show, but you need to be doing because it's going to show up in your results. So what I do is that I keep, I, I study as much as I can. I listen and I read and I try to focus my mind on uh, positive things. And, uh, and then I focus on, in terms of action, physical action, I'm sh I shoot videos to connect with my people out there to the prospects out there give give out some value and then i i am going to create the habit of calling uh, my my prospects and that's when i that's where i came up with the 30 day challenge which, which i'm about to get started right away and and you can watch some of the videos so if you're not in the business of your own you know your circumstances may may be different Maybe you have a huge marketing budget. I can show you how you can increase your, your business. Uh, but obviously, certain things you have to be doing, that is studying and doing all, all those kind of things, listening and reading and studying and developing yourself mentally because your income is going to be somehow there in proportion, proportion to you know how you grow. So your income will not grow if you're not growing mentally as a person. So click on the link below this video to get started if you are not uh, running a business of your own and I should see you on the other side, Kibinero.